Baseball Hall of Fame, Museum, and Honorary Society, Cooperstown, New York, U.S. The origins of the hall can be traced to 1935, when plans were first put forward for the 1939 celebration of the supposed centennial of baseball. It was then believed that the American Army officer, Abner Doubleday, had developed the game at Cooperstown in 1839, a story that was later discredited. The first vote for players to be admitted into the hall was held in 1936, the date sometimes given for the hall's establishment. Dedication ceremonies took place in June 1939. Selections to the Hall of Fame are made annually by two groups, the Baseball Writers Association of America, BBWAA, and the Baseball Hall of Fame Committee on Baseball Veterans. For the period 1971-77, a special committee inducted nine players from the Negro Leagues into the Hall of Fame. Players are selected by members of the BBDWAA who have been active for 10 years and by a few honorary members of the BBWAA. Approximately 450 writers participate each year. To be eligible for selection, the prospective player must have been active in the major leagues at some time during a period beginning 20 years before and ending five years prior to election. When, however, Roberto Clemente was killed in an airplane crash in late 1972. The five-year waiting period was waived so that he could be immediately inducted in 1973. Later in 1973, the election rules were changed to permit selection of a player six months after his death. Further rules stipulate that a player must have played at least 10 years in the major leagues and is required to receive 75% of the votes to be elected. There is no set number of players elected each year. No write-in votes are permitted, and the ballot is formed of those players who received a vote on a minimum of 5% of the ballots cast in the preceding election or those who are eligible for the first time and are nominated by any two of the six members of the BBWAA screening committee. In 1953, the Baseball Hall of Fame Committee on Baseball Veterans was established. It holds elections each year to select players, managers, umpires, and executives no longer eligible for selection by the BBWAA. Memorabilia of all eras of the game and an extensive baseball library are also housed in the hall and museum.